this ocean of material existence that we are in shri krishna said arjun you seat yourself in the boat of knowledge and you cross over it pure knowledge is the most wonderful thing to possess and that knowledge will be revealed to you from within when you attain purity of heart pure knowledge will not come from the outside it will come from the inside shri krishna says arjun those who engage in devotion and purify themselves i seated in their hearts destroy their ignorance with the torch light of knowledge so there is one knowledge which you get from the outside and there is one knowledge that you get in samadhi that is the knowledge that is awakening from inside through realization strive to attain pure knowledge that is the purpose of your human form of life do not delay in this process of bhakti who knows what will happen tomorrow bhagavad gita chapter 4 Verse chanting is followed by translation and commentary by Swami Mukundananda. Nahi jnane na sadrsham pavitram ih vidyate satvayam yoga samsiddhah kale natmani vindati In this world there is nothing as purifying as divine knowledge one who has attained purity of mind through prolonged practice of yoga receives such knowledge within the heart in due course of time In this chapter we saw how shri krishna established arjun's faith in the knowledge he is giving by revealing to him that this is an eternal science which he had previously instructed to the sun god as well He further inspired Arjun to have faith in the names forms virtues pastimes of God by keeping divine sentiments thereby getting a basis to do bhakti or devotion Then he went on to explain the process of yagya and said there are various kinds of yagyas or sacrifices that people engage in the perfection of yagya is to do it as a sacrifice to god this yagya leads to purification and enlightenment so the yagyas that are done are best done in knowledge in order to get knowledge shri krishna asked arjun to approach a guru in this case shri krishna himself is the guru of arjun so arjun's problem is solved we may say if the problem gets solved like this can we also solve our problem we also make shri krishna as our guru that's not possible for us arjun was in the avatar kal god was in front of him so he was able to accept him as a guru Now, if this is not avatar kal, you need a saint through whom you can receive this knowledge. Because 
when we go ahead on this path a lot of doubts will arise how will we resolve these doubts somebody says i have made hanuman as my guru but how will you resolve your questions when they come you need somebody who is in front who can resolve our doubts otherwise there was one guru 5000 years ago and everybody after that keeps accepting that person as the guru there is no need of any more gurus so we need a live teacher who can explain these truths to us further shri krishna says when you receive that knowledge then by virtue of that knowledge you will cut aside all sins you will become free from sins you will get beyond all miseries and seated on the boat of this knowledge you will be able to cross over this vast ocean of life and death this material world is like an ocean at each step there are dangers and uncertainties nobody knows what will happen at the next moment Japan was sitting pretty as a wealthy secure nation they didn't know that a tsunami of 9.2 scale is going to hit all of a sudden and disturb the country totally many years ago there was a very senior doct a junior doctor who came to me in bhubaneswar odisha he and his wife were full of pride he said swami ji i am one of the four doctors in the country selected for this 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 and i got the president's award and he was going on then he and his wife were saying that you know why is it that our colleagues they do not like us and why is it that we do not get credited for what we are doing in other words they wanted even more recognition and they were coming to me please give us some mantra so that we can go further ahead in life the whole planning was now he is one of the four in the country according to him but still the ego the material ambitions are not satisfied and he is going to baba has to get mantras one year later i got a call on my phone what happened oh he's had a terrible accident there has been a head injury and he has become like a child you please come and meet him in the hospital so i went the poor fellow was he was like almost lost his head he was seeming like a real child he was crying swami ji his wife was crying one moment here the other moment there that is the nature of this world anything can happen to anyone at any time nobody thinks you know i am going to get cancer where it's a reality all of a sudden it pops up in fact the mahabharat says nobody even thinks i am going to die अहन्यहनि भूतानि गच्छन्ति हयमालयम् शेषा स्थिरत्वम् इच्छन्ति किमाश्चर्यमतः परम् The Mahabharat the yaksh had asked Yudhishthir the question what is most astonishing in this world So Yudhishthir Maharaj said the most astonishing thing that at every moment people are dying others are watching but they are thinking i will not die he died i will not die 
nobody is conscious of the fact that this human life is dead end the end is in death we all have to go one day and when will that death come who knows it could come at the next moment where hiranyakashipu asked prahlad you are 5 years old and you are doing bhakti bhakti should be done in old age that is what the materialistic people say who don't understand the spiritual knowledge they say bhakti is for old age not for a 5 year old prahlad said father what is the definition of old age somebody who is close to death is old how do you know what is my life span i could die tomorrow five year olds also pass away that means it's possible i am also old bhakti should never be delayed कौमार आचरे प्राग्यो धर्मान भागवता निह दुर्लभम मानुषम जन्म तदप्य ध्रुवम अर्थदम सो प्रहलाद गिव्स दिस एडवाइस ही सेस दुर्लभम मानुषम जन्म द ह्यूमन बर्थ इज वेरी रेयर बट इट इज टेम्प्ररी इट कैन बी स्नैच्ड अवे एट एनी टाइम that is why do not delay in this process of bhakti who knows what will happen tomorrow so this ocean of material existence that we are in shri krishna said arjun you seat yourself in the boat of knowledge and you cross over it pure knowledge is the most wonderful thing to possess and that knowledge will be revealed to you from within when you attain purity of heart pure knowledge will not come from the outside it will come from the inside Shri Krishna says in the tenth chapter, "Teesham satata yukta nam bhajatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yena mam payanti te." Arjun, those who engage in devotion and purify themselves, I seated in their hearts. destroy their ignorance with the torch light of knowledge so there is one knowledge which you get from the outside and there is one knowledge that you get in samadhi maharshi patanjali says ritam bhara tatra pragya that samadhi is filled with knowledge that is the knowledge that is awakening from inside through realization why because the soul is by nature chit the soul is divine energy but it has got covered so when the covering is removed automatically the knowledge of the soul shines forth so shri krishna says that pure knowledge will come from within and it is the purest of things strive to attain it strive to attain pure knowledge that is the purpose of your human form of life vashisht had instructed ram in the yoga vashisht varam sharav hastasya chandalagaravithishu bhikshartha matanam ram na maurkhya hat jeevitam he said ram if to get knowledge 
you need to do bhiksha you need to beg in the street it is worthwhile rather than leading your life in ignorance so that is your primary duty in this human form to try and get that knowledge that knowledge shakti has been given to us humans the power of knowledge not to the the animals haven't got it to this extent so this human form has got this speciality of knowledge and the purpose of the human form is to exercise that power and receive the divine knowledge many times people say you know swami ji i have got stuck in my search for knowledge what happened i made a guru ji when i was 11 years old one baba ji came to the house my mother gave him 11 rupees dakshana he said a mantra in my ear and he went off i don't know where he's gone and he doesn't know where i've gone but now i've got this guru and you cannot now i stuck with him i cannot change my guru so guru cannot be changed so i'm stuck now how will i get knowledge remember the important thing is to get knowledge not to get stuck with the guru if your work is not done from there you go ahead and find another guru in your past life you had another guru in the past life you had another guru if you go to one doctor and you are not cured you go to the next doctor you are not cured you go to the third doctor because you have to cure yourself you don't say you know now i have got this doctor whether i live or i die what to do similarly you don't say you know now i am stuck whether i go to heaven or hell your human form was for getting true knowledge so go and find the right guru and get that true knowledge the guru will give you the theoretical knowledge you will do it practically and you will get the enlightenment from within which shri krishna is talking about